Riley Gaines, who has been on our show, um, basically kind of early on when she was first speaking out, she's the collegiate swimmer for the University of Kentucky. And she was in a uh, swimming meet with the uh, male who pretends to be a woman, goes by the name of Leah Thomas. And they gave Leah Thomas, even though they tied, they gave the medal to Leah Thomas and told Riley, eh, sorry, we're, we're going to let him, her have it. Uh, so she's been speaking out about how unfair this is, and it's a violation of Title IX and the whole host of things. And uh, this is her conversation with Senator Josh Hawley, who, by the way, was just on our show a week or so ago, about uh, this whole nonconformity to the gender nonsense. This has been your experience over and over and over. You're told as a woman to shut up, don't say anything. What's that like? That is continually happening. And if we do speak up, you're immediately labeled as some, as some name. They will call you everything under the sun, whether it's transphobic, homophobic, racist, white supremacist, domestic terrorist. They will throw them all at you in hopes to deter you, in hopes to silence you. Um, Leah Thomas's teammates, they were forced every single week to go to mandatory LGBTQ education meetings to learn about how just by being cisgender, they were oppressing Leah Thomas. They were told that they are not allowed to take a stance because their school has already taken their stance for them. They were told that you will never get a job, you will never get into grad school, you will lose your friends, you will lose your scholarship and playing time if you speak out. They told these girls that if you do speak out, and any harm whatsoever comes towards Thomas's way, whether that's through social media, whether that's physical, mental, emotional harm, then you are solely responsible and you could be responsible for a potential death. And you don't want that, do you? Of course not. Who would ever want to be responsible in a potential death? But that is the emotional blackmail that is plaguing this country, especially in universities. That is one remarkable young lady. My goodness, her courage in going to Congress and just being blunt with the members of Congress. Some of them had a hard time taking it. There was one Democrat witness at this particular hearing where Riley Gaines was, and she was trying to say that, oh, yeah, you know, some of these women athletes, they beat the men. And boy, did she ever regret she opened her mouth on that one. Let's watch. You know, there's been this news article about men that think that they could beat Serena Williams in tennis, right? That they think that they could actually score a point on her. Um, and it's just not the case. She is stronger Gaines, than that. What's your experience, Ben? Male, female. Both Serena and Venus lost to the 203rd ranked male tennis player, which they're phenoms for women. Um, my experience, my husband, he swam at University of Kentucky as well. In terms of accolades and in terms of national ranking, I was a much better swimmer than him. Um, he could kick my butt any day of the week. It was kind of embarrassing that uh, Democrat witness was trying to pretend that Serena Williams had defeated a male tennis player. And Riley Gaines quickly said, no, the 203rd ranked male beat Serena Williams, the greatest female tennis right. player. I mean, it was just quite powerful. Senator Dick Durbin from Illinois, he was trying to uh, go after her and uh, really pushing Riley Gaines. Once again, she took nothing off of him and put him right back down in his small seat. Watch. Um, Senator Durbin, in, in your opening statement, you had mentioned this rhetoric. It's, um, you had mentioned that what message does it send to trans individuals? And my combat to that is what message does this send to women, to young girls who are denied of these opportunities? So easily their rights to privacy and safety thrown out of the window to protect a small population, protect one group as long as they're happy. What about us? Indeed, what about mm. us? These women athletes that have trained for their whole lives, they're getting scholarships, they compete, mm -hmm. and now the sports are being totally destroyed because some guy who can't cut it as a male athlete, he's not man enough to compete against men, so he pretends he's a woman, and he gets to go in the locker room and watch the girls undress and undress in front of them, and then go out there and beat them and pretend somehow he's a champion. Mm -hmm. The only, only thing worse than that person doing that are the idiots who allow that and think that's okay. Yeah. This is crazy stuff, and I, I, I'm so glad to see people like Riley Gaines um, just remind us that this ain't right. By the way, one of the best questions I heard, uh, we don't have the clip, but it just remind you, Ted Cruz had the most perfect question. He was asking one of these people advocating for, you know, men playing women's sports. He said, well, if men are going to play in women's sports, why even have women's sports? Mm. What's the point? 
just have a sport. If everybody can play the same thing, just say it's sport. So everybody plays. Doesn't matter what gender you are. Just play on one team. Saves a lot of money for the schools. They don't have to have women's sports, men's sports. Just have the sports. I thought that was brilliant. Mm. Let's go to the Durham hearings that happened this week. Pretty big stuff. Um, special counsel John Durham testified before Congress. It was not a comfortable thing for him from either party. Uh, but he talked about his relationship with FBI agents. Let's watch. Let me um, give you some uh, real-life um, views on that. I have had um, any number of FBI agents um, who I've worked with over the years, some of them are retired, some are still in place, who have come to me and apologized for the manner in which uh, that investigation was undertaken. I take that seriously. These are good, hard-working, the majority of people in the FBI Another good reason to watch the interview that I was mentioning with Stephen Friend because that's exactly what he talks about. And since he came forward as a whistleblower, uh, being severely punished by the FBI for telling the truth, um, boy, he's paid a price. Mm. But a lot of people have come to him from inside the agency and said, you know, you had the guts I didn't have. I'm just very blunt about it. Uh, Durham was being uh, grilled by one of the most horrible people that ever got elected to Congress, a guy named Steve Cohen from over in, near Memphis. Steve Cohen may be the most vile person in Congress today. And there's some pretty nasty people there. Nobody holds a candle to Steve Cohen. Why Democrats in that community over in Memphis send this guy back to Congress? I have no idea. But what he said to John Durham was disgusting. But John Durham, to his credit, put Steve Cohen in his place in a very spectacular way. Your reputation will be damaged. As everybody's reputation who gets involved with Donald Trump is damaged, he's damaged goods. There's no good dealing with him because you will end up on the bottom of a pyre. I yield back the balance of my time. Sure. My, we uh, presume the gentleman's undecided on, on how he feels about the pre former president. <laughs> yeah. Gentlemen, the witness can respond. Yeah, my uh, concern about my reputation is with uh, the people who I respect and my family and my Lord. And I'm perfectly comfortable with my reputation with them, sir. Oh, I love that. Basically saying, I don't care what you think. The people that I have any concern with, they're okay with my reputation. You, sir, I could care less what you think. I thought it was a classic. Mm -hmm. Classic answer. Just brilliant. Hey, Mike Huckabee here. Listen, if you love your mom, apple pie, and being conservative, you know you ought to subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell and click the like button and show all the leftists out there that conservatives are thriving and patriotism is far from dead. Am I pandering too much? No way. I'm just getting started.